Hi everyone, it's Julie here. And in case you missed it, about a week ago, I posted on Facebook um, asking if people could guess the question that I get asked the most, other than the where do you get your protein question. And nobody was able to guess it, but it was really interesting to see like what kind of questions people had for me. So on Monday this week, I decided to open up my page to an Ask Julie Anything Day, and I'm here to answer a couple of the questions. Um, one of them I get asked a lot, and I'm going to actually have to do like a whole new post for it just because it's kind of a long answer, but I'm going to answer a couple of the questions that people asked me um, just from this past Monday. So the first one was from Tanya, and it's, how do you get that man to eat healthy? All the men I know eat gravy, biscuits, and burgers, and think french fries are vegetables. This one's actually kind of funny. Um, Scott is definitely the healthier of the two of us. Um, if anybody's going to skip their workouts, it's probably going to be me. If anybody is going to kind of fall off their nutrition wagon a little bit, it's, it's going to be me. Um, he's always just, it comes easy to him. He's just one of those people. Um, he definitely, you know, will like, We'll go out and, you know, get drinks on the weekend or he's, you guys don't know this, this is my secret. He's a big sweets person and cake. Um, but, you know, for most of the, for the majority of the time, you know, 90, 95% of the time, like he's eating healthy and he just loves it. He just, that's just what he does. Um, especially with us be, both being vegan, it's interesting because everybody just assumes that he's the man and meets manly and um that i've somehow brainwashed him and um converted him and that he sneaks cheeseburgers and french fry or uh, cheeseburgers and chicken wings and things behind my back and it couldn't be farther from the truth he actually stopped eating meat before i did and um i followed suit about maybe like a month later um i gave up dairy he gave up meat and then we we both made the switch together so yes i did not brainwash him um, to all of those who I know think that. <laughs> um, if tomorrow your body was automatically reset back to where you started from, but you still kept the knowledge you have today, what would be the first five things that you would do? That's a good one. And I haven't planned this at all, so I don't even know if I'll have five off the top of my head. Um, reading ingredients, just flipping a package over and reading the back of the package. Um, I've done... I've done everything. I when I was in high school, I did like the hydroxy cut, which made me like shaky and jittery and feel like crap. Um, I remember at one point in high school, like I would just eat pop tarts all day, and because they were small, and so you know, I, I didn't know. You know, you don't know about nutrition. I'm like, oh, it's small, and then this is all I'm gonna eat. Um, I've done what was the the one that's a package, not Jenny Craig. Nutrisystem, I think, where it like literally shows up like freeze-dried food on your front steps. Like, how does that sound healthy? Um, I did Weight Watchers, and I lost weight with Weight Watchers. And I was eating Cheetos and low-fat deli meat and low-fat cheese and drinking Diet Mountain Dew and losing weight. Was it healthy? Hell no. Um, so definitely reading, learning how to read ingredients, just skipping all the bullshit on the front of the label, um, skipping past the, the carbs and protein and fat, and just reading the ingredients. Can you pronounce it? Do you know what it is? Um, it drives me nuts when people say that they're not eating carbs. You need carbs, and especially when somebody is going to pass up something that, like fruit. I hear all the time, like, people are not eating fruit because of the sugar in it, but they're eating things that have artificial sweeteners, which are far worse for your body. Um, so just, you know, reading the ingredients. Um, okay, five things. Get an accountability group. Get people. Get support. That definitely helps. Um, I'll have to come back to that one. I can't think of more than five. My neck always hurts when I do sit-ups no matter what I do. Is my neck weak or my form completely wrong? I have no idea. You'd have to maybe take a video of yourself, um, but I'm honestly not sure. Um, and then here's the last one. What are your thoughts on following a strict routine, routine as in a program set just the way it is? Do you think someone will get the same results as long as they're doing legs one day, chest and back, shoulders? I ask because a friend of mine and I do whatever we have time for. Um, looks like they're doing body beast some days, P90X some days, jogging some days. Um, diet's terrible, but I know that's a huge factor in, in results. Okay, so... First off, like, like you said in the question, um, diet's huge. So many people will do the workouts and then say they're not working, but your nutrition is key. I mean, you cannot, trust me, I've tried, you cannot outwork a bad diet. Um, as far as following the schedule, I, 
I don't think that people realize just how much science goes into, um, she mentioned Beachbody programs, so that's why I'm talking about Beachbody programs for this, but I don't think people realize just how much science goes into Beachbody programs, um, not just the program themselves, but the, the nutrition that goes with it and um, the nutrition that goes with each phase of it. And so honestly, I really, really, really stress following the program the way it's written. Um, if it tells you do this this day and do this this day, but you don't feel like it and you want to do a different workout, just do it. Follow the schedule at least once, at least get through your 30, 60, 90 days. And so that way you can at least get your own results and see. And the, there's nothing worse than finishing a program and then thinking like, what if I had followed the schedule? What if I had done it right? What would my results be like? Um, same with the meal plan. Like you don't want to go through all of that work and then eat like crap and not get the results or go through all of that work. And then at the end of the 90 days, think to yourself, like, I wonder how it would have been different. Just my opinion. Um, but yeah, definitely. I always stress following the workout plan. Um, so then there's two other questions and another question that was posted earlier that I don't have right up in front of me that I'm going to put in a big post. And it was the one of them is what made you get into this line of business? Um, were you somewhat on the big side? And then um, the other one was something about me um, and my business. And um, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. It was something about me and my business and how long it took me to go full time. Let me see. Okay. Um, how and when were you able to go full time and what did you do before coaching and where do you see yourself in three years? So those are kind of like long story answers. So um, I'm definitely going to put those together in a post too. So look forward to that. But I had a lot of fun doing this and um, I think I might start doing this weekly. It had been suggested to me by a friend about a year ago to do Ask Julie Anything Days and I, you know, I was a little nervous about it. But uh, the questions have been fun. And so hopefully I was able to help you guys a little bit. And uh, Amanda, I'll try to think of three other things that I would do if I was back to where I started. Baby steps. Baby steps is a really big one. Um, when I look back to, you know, my fitness journey from, you know, years ago, years and years and years and years and years ago, I didn't wake up eating like this. I didn't wake up working out like this. Um, it's definitely been a process and you just make tweaks along the way and it just becomes habit. So hopefully that helped. And um, I look forward to our next uh, Ask Julie Anything day. Bye.